Hey guys, welcome back to Voice in the Wilderness. My name is Dylan. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different, guys. We uh, got some new equipment, so we're going to try a new uh, kind of format for videos today. Uh, we are also going to be taking a break from the Rapture series today. We were going to do part four and then part five tomorrow. However, the Holy Spirit put on my heart that I think it's really important, guys, that we take a day every week on this uh, channel for this ministry, guys, to pray for those that were worried about getting left behind, okay? So uh, I want to open with this, guys, and this is from 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 13 through 18. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. So guys, this is uh, a passage directly out of First Thessalonians chapter 4. And Paul is speaking here of the rapture. Okay, In Thessalonica, guys, just for some context, there were some false letters, guys, that were circulating around as though they were written by Paul. And the church in Thessalonica was worried that they had missed the rapture. Um, Paul's giving them these words to comfort them, saying, no, of course, that's not true, guys. This is what it's going to look like when it does happen. And so, guys, the purpose of this video today is we want to make sure that we are praying for those that we're worried about getting left behind. We want to make sure, guys, that we are um, aware of how late the hour is. And we want to make sure, guys, that as we're seeing the day approaching, that the people that we're worried about getting left behind, that we want to keep them in our prayers. We want to keep them um, and other people's prayers as well, guys. And so I got this idea from bro Tom with Watchman river and the purpose guys is that we want to make sure that as we're seeing the day approaching, we're dropping names and the whole community is coming together that we're praying for these people that we're praying for other people that we're receiving prayer for our loved ones that we're worried about. And guys, we really are just so late in the hour that I felt in my spirit. I felt the Holy spirit calling me to do this. And so We've already seen such a beautiful part of our community is everyone leaving names, everyone praying for them. You'll see someone drop a couple of names or a whole list of names. Then you'll see people comment and they'll say, well, I'm praying for this person too. I'm praying for that person also. And so I will always stop and pray for these people. No matter what time of day it is, guys, no matter what I'm doing, I always make it a point. I feel very strongly in my spirit that this is what I'm supposed to be doing as a big part of this ministry. And I know that you guys feel the same way. And so what we want to do today is we want to see that if there's anyone you're worried about getting left behind, that they will uh, have their name put down, that we'll pray for them, guys. And I just want to make this known as well, that uh, aliens didn't take us. We weren't vaporized and rematerialized. Guys, Jesus Christ, just as the scripture said just now, has come for his bride. He has uh, sealed us to the day of redemption, the redemption of our bodies. We know that we're going to be with him in heaven during the seven-year tribulation, guys. And we want to make sure that people know now and, and that we're dating this video is July, I believe it's the 23rd. And we want to make sure that people know in advance, guys, that we're not crazy. We weren't abducted, that it was Jesus, just as he said. And we want to make sure that we're being intentional about that because when the time comes when we are gone, and I believe that is very soon, we want to make sure that we're representing Christ well and that we're citing our sources, if you will, that we're saying, look, this is what the Bible said would happen thousands of years ago. And lo and behold, it's come to pass because the hour is very late. And so with that, guys, I want you to do me a favor today. You drop every single person that you're worried about, every one of them. And I don't mean... Um, I'm not being facetious. If you've got 40 people that you're worried about, please list all 40. I want to spend today with you, my brothers and sisters, an intense and fervent prayer for these people, that God would intervene, that he would reveal himself to these people in a mighty way that they might turn and repent of their sin to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ before the day of the Lord and before the tribulation, guys. And we want this to be something that we're supposed to lift up every situation, every person, every illness in prayer. And with that, let's do that today. Okay, drop every single person. 
I'm going to be praying for you guys all day. I know that our brothers and sisters are. I encourage you, if you leave a name and you see a name, pray for that person. And guys, this is going to be a powerful thing that we do every week until the Lord comes back. I want to give a shout out to bro Tom because he gave me the idea. Um, the spirit confirmed it. And uh, I love you guys. And if I don't see you in the air today, which is very possible. And again, the Lord's sovereign. Then I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll keep going with our rapture series, guys. We have more points to make. Uh, it might be a five parter. We might do part four tomorrow, part five the next day. But guys, regardless, listen, Jesus is coming very soon. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't be excited for Jesus coming. I want you to hold tight. Pray for those who need it. Share the gospel today with whoever you come across and have your eyes fixed on Jesus because we are going to hear that trumpet very soon. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day and I will see you Lord willing tomorrow. Love you. Have a great day.